Hi, hello. We're back. Here we go. I don't remember where we are at all. Did we finish Havarl? <gasps> Xavier going in! I'm just literally gonna sit here and drink my tea. Wow! Wow! All those broken pieces like a dragon's jaw. You hate to see friends arguing like this. Divided by pancakes. Or is it pie? I'm not, I'm not sure anymore. Okay, so this is where we were. Okay, let's... Here we go. Journal. We're, okay, so this is what we're doing. Oh no, wait, oh shit. We're drilling for natural gas, not for water, because this people, these people need the water. Okay. Okay, so now we gotta do it over here somewhere. Liam did lose his feet. Does he have him back? Oh, we're all losing our feet a little. It's very thick sand. Look, Xavier, look. I don't want to frack any more than the next person, but... I don't have an excuse. <laughs> My brain's like roaring through the options. I don't really have one. It's because it's, it's what the video game is telling me to do. Drill for natural gas. Okay, so this is where we want to go. We want to go to the right. Boop, boop. I want the environment to be good and healthy and not damaged too. I don't get that option. The game says frack or frack, but with water. Are you upset with me, little guy? I'm just hanging out. Do I need me? Yeah, I figured. Oh my god! The video game won't let me care about the environment more. I mean, I guess I could not do the quest, but I'm also worried that that might uh, inhibit our progress. This is the spot that Advent Scout gave us. Natural gas right under our feet generations and you can just breathe it in i guess we could go to the other side and tap water for padromos need to pick i'm glad that they give you like hey you gotta pick okay all right second hammer here we go time to leave Watch out. Aren't the hammers or the remnant? What is that? I Half don't know. The gas deposit has been exposed, but not completely. What do you mean? Flood a new hammer site, Sam. One last hit should do it. Vetra, baby, he wasn't doing anything. H for holster? No. Holster is. There we go. I'm gonna have to remember so many different commands from so many different games right now. It's nice to bebop around and have like a variety to choose from. Uh, but it's also, <laughs> it's also very confusing. I'm just gonna run up here for that, uh, R2-D2 drop. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Awesome. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. So what is this? Is this the next thing? 
This is our next survey hammer. Let me check to make sure this is three instead of... Yeah, okay, the third one. Oh, he's not actually R2-D2. He just looks kind of like R2-D2 to me, to my brain. Here we go. Last hammer. I should finish the job. Everyone ready? What? Oh, you're kidding me. Is this another architect? Yep. Buddy, what are you doing here? Here we go, buckle up. Shields are going. God, oh, there is just not a lot of places to go. All right, is it mouth time? No, it is not mouth time. It is. Come on. There we go. Oh shit. There we go. Now, are your leggies open? Aim for the legs. Come on. There we go. Nice. One leg down, two to go. Are we doing mouth things? It's time for mouth? No, we're on an adventure. Where are you going, buddy? After it! What are we shooting at? Your leggies are very close. Headed. Where are the other? There you are. Get out of here. Okay, let's follow him. <laughs> Look at him. He's just. 
flying along. All right, let's get in there. He looks so graceful in a way, you know what I mean? All right. The legs are weak. Yep, it's time for leggies. Live it finally. Oh my god. After it! Oh, baby, we're going, I swear. I'm just gonna run around, get some ammo. That's why there's so much ammo hanging out. I'm just trying to see where he's going. I gotta go in her face. I was like, ah, yeah, I'm done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, Bucko. There are a handful. Ryder, it's Haley at the outpost. I just got a massive spike on the seismic readings. The architect? Yeah, it followed the hammers. Great work, Ryder. The outpost's safe, and that architect should give us just what we need. We did it. 
I can't say anything remotely similar to that because my brain just goes piggy dipping. He was just hanging out. I like how we still have the Arctic music. Still got our epic battle music. Oh, hey, little buddy. Woo! Oh, he was mean. Nice work. Inorganic lubricant. Yeah, I don't know if there really is that time limit, but I always feel like I'm being rushed to go interface. We don't need any health, but this is cool. I didn't realize that there was health before. So now I know. Okay, I am gonna go get stocked up. Okay, I am stocked up. All right, yeah. Xavier's right. I got burned real hard on time limits my first episode, so now I'm just like very paranoid about them. Okay, rocks. Drone recovery. Let's go do some more drone recovery. We'll have to make some time probably about 4.30. Yeah, let's, let's do some codex entries today because we've been real bad about it. Unfortunately, Merlin is not around to read them for y'all, but you'll just have to settle for me. Okay, where was the car? Okay, let's head back to the Nomad. I want to pour myself some more tea. Maybe we should talk to this guy now that we've finished his quest. It's taken care of. That natural gas deposit should be easier for you to mine. Thank you. Well, that was a hell of a tremor for one survey hammer. Does the ground usually shake this much around here? Oh, that's it? Okay. I'm going. Good luck out there. All right. So. Where's the closest one? Oh, we're looking at it. All right, let's go. Oh, but it's down, isn't it? Oh. oh I thought I saw something. Are we gonna be okay if we go down the hill like this? I guess there's only one way to find out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's time for a roller coaster ride. Yeah, baby. I did the, the little responsibility thing. It's about my sister, isn't it? Good sleuth in Sherlock, gold star. Your mouth's gonna get your ass in trouble. My mouth didn't drag a kid to Andromeda. Screw you, Costa. She had a choice. Some choice. Lose you or come here. Crazy how upbeat she is, considering. Stay out of my shit and don't talk to my sister. Liam, why are you being a jerk? I mean, I guess we don't know how young Sid is, but I mean, people are going to have children here. What do they think was going to happen? I mean, it's going to be rough, right? But that's they, that's all they have. And I'm sure Vetra asked Sid whether or not she wanted to come, and I get that she's a child. She can't always consent to everything or be knowledgeable enough to make her own decisions. And that's just, like, unnecessary. Like, you can be like, hey, Vetra, is everything good with Sid? You can show compassion for Sid in other ways, but being shitty to Vetra? Is not how to do that. It's not how you do that. Also, Liam, you're on thin ice already, buddy. You start talking shit to my girlfriend that I want to be my girlfriend, who right now is just a friend who is a girl, <laughs> and we're gonna have problems. 
Okay, so uh, over to the left around that bend. Exactly. The scourge was very unpredictable as a phenomenon. So, like... Pathfinder, I detect Ket among the salvage. Oh. All right. We've scanned. Let's get this buddy placed. And let's go deal with these cats. Still going. I'm gonna have to go and sell after this. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> Wait, it said deconstruct. What does that do for us? Interesting. Oh, this guy has loot on him. This is an actual gun that I cannot take. Compare, compare on. Oh, cool. Oh, this is better than what we've got in every way. We haven't changed the guns yet. I just don't usually bother with it because it's just basically a fill-in for uh, my biotics. It's just heavier. I don't know if that's going to negatively affect my biotics. Okay, well, why not? Oh, we have two weapons. We have the Predator and the Avenger. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see if there's something else I can murder in my inventory. Consumables. Oh, backup life support? Jesus. That's definitely really helpful. Cryo ammo? What's something we only have a little bit of? There's a Cobra RPG. That seems a little superfluous. We've only got one of them instead of destroying like an entire stack. I'm sure that the Cobra RPG is cool and everything, but there we go. All right, now we need to head. This is just a hit a rock. I mean, we're right here. We're right here. We might as fucking well. Okay, back to the car. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, there we go. Run like a person. Okay. Now that we're in the car. Oh, it's going to be up. How can we get back up? Is that how we go? I could. Yeah, let's just fast travel. So if we need to go there, let's fast travel here. Oh, thank you. I love uh, the N7 armor. Oh, it does look like uh, Bobby's like big old armor set. I do is doing it because I love Shepard. Where's that quest? Did it take the quest away? It did. How weird. Okay, so it should be right over here. Uh-huh, right over here. 
here. An undocumented mineral has been detected, Pathfinder. Okay. Oh, he's down here! A little boy! Oh, we gotta scan him. Scan him. He's always element zero! So, deploying geophysics VI for scan. Performance 30%, 35% over in projections. It's performing satisfactorily. Cool. Do we pick him up? No, we just needed to scan. Okay. So, now where to? So what do we have to do over here? So we've got... Report wildlife. Well, I'm, I'm not doing my turn-ins quite yet. And then investigate cat presence. That's right. Memory. Drones. Something on the forward station. There we go. Investigate other sites. What was this? It's just a research station? Okay. Let's, let's go look at the cool cat shit. Nice. Yeah, um, Bloodlines will be up on YouTube eventually. Okay. Oh, this is it? This is the place. This is another one of those weird, uh, I want to get this cover. on my uh, little red dots though okay we're in it oh we really got to go sell after this okay Console activated. You'll need to stay in range. Okay. Oh god, that's a lot. <gasps> Vetra! Honey! Vetra. Oh, that one's not quite ready yet. Vetra, honey, sweetheart. One bell. Man, Vetra just went right in. Oh, Where do y'all see more? There, there's one. She's got him. Man, she's so cool. Uh. You should have what you need, Pathfinder. Awesome. All right, let's investigate. Grab some ammo. Why? Here they come! What do you mean, here they come? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Leave Vetra alone. Oh no, I'm stuck. 
I wonder if that has anything to do with my broken biotic. Oh, oh I think it does. I can't reload either. Hello? Can I shoot? Yes, I can shoot. Pulling out the fancy moves. I can't move. What's going on? Oh, I see it. I see it. There we go. It's underneath my chat, so I never see it. We're good now? Okay. Man. You can tell I start, like, flailing on the keys when it gets tense. I mean, we all do. Let's be real. To a degree. <laughs> I accidentally slapped the tilde instead of one, which is my throw. Cat sealant. Ken, keep sharp. How are we going to go? We the past. I'm guessing that's the cat in charge. Access the cat shield array? Is that this right here? There we go. So the shield generators to overload. All right. Yeah, wow. How many of these guys are there? Come on, sabotage, sabotage. Oh, my shield. Hurry! Okay. Thank you, Vetra, for the cover. Liam, you want to help too, babe? Vetra, baby. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry. I just can't get that reinforced barrel. We are full the fuck up. Okay, let's go to the other one. I only had to melee a husk the one time, I think. And it freaked me the shit out. And I was all the way in Mass Effect 3 before it happened to me. Oh no, it's another gun. But it's significantly worse than what we're wearing. So. I'm not crying about that. Oh wait, we can deconstruct though. We can deconstruct. I forgot. Excuse me, Vetra. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't want to compare. I want to deconstruct. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Let's do that to the other one so we don't have to worry about it. Deconstruct. Yes. Oh, some of them are destroyed, some of them are deconstructed. I noticed one was broken down into components, the other ones were like, well, we're killing it. And I'm like, okay, I don't I don't put it in my bags anyways, so I guess that's what we're doing. I feel like Amos is like, can't have it? Well, gonna smash. Okay, this time I'm gonna kill the people first. There we go. That's much easier. <laughs> box over here no okay so overload the cat shield array cool Ugh, a fluid sack gross oh we've got some people coming in wait 15 percent sniper rifle spare ammo Thank you. 
I like sniper rifles. And I like more ammo, but... Where are they? Do we have to go all the way back? Oh, yeah, we do. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now, then. Yeah, I feel like we run faster without our weapon. <laughs> She's doing her best, okay? So we need to go up somehow. Is there stairs? For up? Or we can also just jump. Wait, so what is the difference between this and this? Console deactivate. Maybe it was the same one? What is this one, though? There. Let's hope that stops them. Cool. Do we need to go over and deal with those kiddos? So yeah, we've got investigate cat presence and access to stronghold core. Got it. Let's go. Hey, buds. You did not. There we go. Is massive. It really is. We brought it down. Nice. All right, we just keep on going. Oh, something to scan for. Oh. Oh, what alarm? Where is it? Okay, okay. downstairs Too damn long is right. It's really interesting. Oh. Hey, buddy! No! Thank you! Okay. So we're looking for something. 
something else? Is this it? Y'all got it? Um, okay, yeah. I want to make sure we weren't skipping anything optional. Okay, there are several that we need to do. Got it. So, where? There's definitely... I don't know if I can make that. But I can run this way. Is this where they sleep? Or are they just storing those beds? There we go. Here's another one. We'll do this one. Because that one's going to need to be underneath us. Do this one already? Well, then why are you leading me here, game? We'll go. Oh, container though. Wait, can we take this one? Yeah! Excuse me. Okay, so if we're underneath where we need to be, another container. Nice! Oh, yes. That mid-air jump. Here we go. Oh, oh, sorry. I had no idea you were here. There we go. Oh, my buddies need to come. I need to come. Where? trying to touch all the things I need to touch. Can I take that? Yes. Okay. Cool. Oh, I wonder if we walk our friends next to them or whether they'll heal them. That would be cool. Okay, now we can go to a different quest marker. Maybe up this way? Poor Ryder, she's really getting her cardio in for today. I didn't know we were making this an entire ass mission. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. Wait, no cooldowns. Nice. Oh, you. Oh, God. Woo! Baby? Are you okay? Man, I thought we were just gonna whip in here, do a few quests, but this is a full-scale invasion. Ha, we can have those. And I will, I will go and uh, <laughs> clean out our inventory soon, I promise. I'm sure I missed a lot of containers up there because I'm just like frantically trying to like get where we need to go. Okay, so what? Huh. 
Hello? Eliminate the cat in Victor? Excuse me? What the fuck is that? Oh, I saw oh, you. Yeah. Oh. Wait, from the side? Where? Oh. Okay. Um... Fuck around, y'all. Where did you go? Give me your orb. Careful, Betra. There we go. Thank you, sweetheart. Alright, sorry. I know I've been ignoring chat for a hot second to focus. Um, what do I think of Ryder's voice compared to Shepard's? Um, I think that they're different voice actresses and they're both talented. And I don't want to say like one's better than the other. Because they're different performances, right? I've, I'm always going to have a particular soft spot for Shepard, right? Because I'm just so attached to her at this point. But I think that the voice actress for Ryder does just a fine job. I love multiplayer in Mass Effect 3. The Banshee screams, yes. They get you. I need to play some more of that at some point. Okay, let's look around this area. There's obviously stuff we need to do down there, but I'm trying to like be pretty thorough. Oh, they didn't redo any of the multiplayer for Legendary Edition? A shame. Yes, Shepard has Vicarian and Ryder has Jaw. I love Jaw. I love him so much. Like, I'm trying to get other friendos out to run around and stuff, but like, I just want to take y'all everywhere. Just y'all and Betra. They're so wholesome. They're great. All right. So I think that covers everything up top. So let's get down here, see what we need. Oh, don't get me wrong. I like Drac too. I like Drac a lot. He's great. And, and Cora is great. Um, PB is the only one that's like, Um, it was just more because uh, she's like, hey, you want to fuck? I don't care if you're with somebody else. I won't tell. And it's like, no. That's terrible. Don't do that. What's wrong with you? So it's really lowered my opinion of her. A lot. Oh, and thank you, whoever gives it a sub for Kila Salai. We love. Zenith Observation Room? It's like, as someone who's my, who's a spouse and like, being in like a really healthy amazing marriage is like their whole personality that really rubs me the wrong way really like that is a that is a low grade quality individual to facilitate cheating on your partner that's not okay in my book. And there, there might not be anything about PB that can redeem that. But that's just me. 
That doesn't mean that's how anyone else has to feel about her. I really fucking hate when people facilitate cheating, so to me, she's gross. Okay. Let's go to the observation room. <gasps> Elevator controls. Oh, that was short. <laughs> okay. This is pretty anticlimactic. Oh, well, totally. If, like, the relationship was open and Ryder had talked to her partner and stuff first, A-okay. If everything's consensual, that's great. But the crux of the matter is Ryder did not get the opportunity to talk to any partner. And um, PB made it very clear that she didn't care about her relationship or her partner or whoever else was involved. Fuck them. She wanted to do immediate gratification. Regardless of who it hurt. And that's not cool. Alright. It's just more core encryption tech. I don't know why we gotta keep scanning these. Again, everyone is allowed to feel differently about these characters. I'm telling you why I don't like her. Because people are like, what? Don't you like PB? Because she's dishonest. And I don't... I, that's just not how I roll. Concern. This mission is foolish. We hunt for remnant myths while those creatures seek to oppose us. We must make them see the glory of Ket, not dig through the mud of this broken planet. I do not blame the highest one, of course. Our light only seeks to make us strong. This remnant has poisoned the highest one's mind. It should be destroyed. Recommendation. You have heard, I am sure, of the new creatures from beyond dark space. Will they be a threat to enlightenment? The highest one does not worry. But I see pain and war in the future. We must see these creatures for the pestilence they are. I recommend a team of our most trusted to begin elimination. Please. Most enlightened. This humble servant seeks an audience with you. When I sleep, I see things. Terrible visions of creatures I think I knew once. Why do I feel this way? Do I see the future or the past? Please make it stop. If I must die to quiet these visions, I will gladly end my life. Tell me what I must do. Dang. I love the way they keep pulling back and reminding us that... Exaltation isn't a perfect process. That these turned, evolved, ascended, whatever word we want to use, these creatures, the cat, they remember who and what they were in some way, shape, or form at times. And that's, wow. Dang. Okay. I hate having to destroy all these things. Good luck studying, Comethologia. I believe in you. There's a part of me that really misses school. It was what I did for so long, right? I didn't get out of school until I was in my mid-twenties. That's it. The base is offline. Not just the base out there we shut everything off yeah and we leveled amazing okay so i said we were going to do some codex entries let's do some codex entries hmm oh yeah let's do about our crew oh but we got rider too so what oh it's an ongoing psychological profile What what changed? Oh, I don't like that. 
I think this is the new part. I would say that all this is completely in line with your tendency to act impulsively in many situations. To go with your gut rather than pause and wait for more info, which is not how I've been wanting to play. Perhaps I should note that you are more impulsive in the field than you are with your affection, whatever that means. I don't love. So we've done these already too. We've got some new ones. There we go. Despite their differences, Kylo reached out to Gil in the end and the two appear to have reached a truce. Okay. You and Liam have been through a lot together. His methods sometimes invite risk, but you generally agree. No, I was trying to be nice. And Liam thinks rescuing his contact Rand went a long way to making Pathfinder mean something for everyone in Helios, not just the initiative. I mean, that's fair. Uh, Liam's more certain of his own role as well. He's planning something, but is holding off until the Angara can be a part of it too. Assisting John, they address that. Hmm. Okay, we don't have any more new ones for that. Let's see. How, we've got so many arc species. Yeah, let's do the initiative. Known associates. Okay, so these are no different. We've got Sam. Recent removal of memory blocks has shed further light on my creation. Alec Ryder built me in part to help his wife, Ellen Ryder, survive a terminal illness, later classified as A-E-N-D. He hoped that my ability to affect my host's physiology could either prolong her life or help him discover a cure. Though this hope was not fulfilled, Alec Ryder later integrated this ability into my core design. Okay. Oh, we've got more for Jal. Jal Amadarav. What's new for Jal? Though I have only a small baseline for Angara... Voice stress and body language analysis suggest Jal feels familial pressure to achieve his own heroic status. Jal himself says only that everyone needs their own story. I really like Jal. He's great. Okay, the initiative. All right. So we've done Golden Worlds and probably Andromeda Initiative. So glossary of terms? We don't need this, do we? I mean, I guess, for completionist's sake. A brief refresher of terms used in Andromeda Initiative literature. Okay. Ammunition block. A solid block of metal loaded into a gun. Sand-sized particles are sheared off by the gun's targeting mechanism and then fired as projectiles, allowing a single block to give ammunition for multiple combat encounters. That's pretty cool, though. Citadel. A massive ancient space station in the Milky Way that acted as the political and cultural center of the galaxy. Com buoy. A communications buoy that relays data through corridors of mass-free space. The Extranet, a publicly accessible information network across the Milky Way, akin to a planetary internet on a galactic scale. Such a network is slowly being developed in Andromeda while communications are established. A hard suit. An exploration combat suit, usually armored with titanium or ceramic plating and equipped with kinetic barriers to protect against hostile fire and environmental hazards. A heat sink, also known as a thermal clip, a detachable, coolant filled sink used to prevent weapons from overheating they must be ejected and replaced regularly during firefights flash forging immediate manufacture of a usually short-lived object from raw materials using an omni tool or other fabrication device omni blades are typically flash forge ftl faster than light travel kinetic burial also known as a shield this is actually kind of smart to do if you haven't played the other mass effect games already and you're like talking about all this stuff and they're like, what? I don't, hello? So I guess I was like, why would you have this? Because sometimes people haven't played the trilogy first. Kinetic barrier, also known as a shield, used to repel fast moving projectiles, hence kinetic. Uh, but it does not defend against melee attacks. High gravity kinetic barriers protect sh blah, 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 starships. 
from debris. Mass accelerator. A railgun that lowers the mass of a projectile and then hurls it at relativistic speeds. Sufficient acceleration allows even tiny projectiles to impact with tremendous force. That's very cool. And yes, Panhead, I am still interested in Vetra. Mass Relay, a network of mass transit facilities across the Milky Way. Used to immediately transport starships hundreds of light years. No such network exists in Andromeda. Yeah, it's because there's no Reapers to build them. Did the Reapers build it or the Protheans build it? I, I thought the Leviathan and Reapers had them built, if I remember correctly. It's been a hot second. All right. Metagel. A sterile medicinal salve that bonds to flesh, immediately sealing injuries against bleeding or infection. It can be removed with a small ultrasound pulse. Cool. I didn't know that. Manufacturing. Small-scale manufacturing of 3D objects, often on the battlefield or for emergency repairs. So it's almost like having your own little uh, mini 3D printer that's cool. Omnigel. A compound of alloys, ceramic, and other materials suspended in a semi-molten state. Used with an Omni tool to build small 3D objects almost instantaneously. So... You use manufacturing with Omnigel as a component for that? That's so cool. OSD, optical storage disk, can contain data or the blueprints and programming used in manufacturing. QEC, quantum entanglement communication. Instantaneous communication using two particles that are linked at a quantum level. Like I was wondering why they're doing Omnigel and stuff because we haven't really dealt with Omnigel since Mass Effect 1, but I guess it's still a part of the lore, right? And so it might be mentioned even in just like passing communication, you'd want to know what it is. Um, do I think there are similarities between Liam and Sarah? I mean, you can make the obvious draws there. Reckless, um, rash, doesn't like to consider um, any sort of strategy or planning or I don't know. They don't want to grab a breadth of knowledge um, and go in with a plan. They just are pretty chaotic. But uh, I do also think they're very distinct individuals. All right. How many of these do we have? There's four. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a few more. Nexus Uprising. I mean, I, I guess this was good to read. Also, who is this? Is this the Sloan Kelly? Yeah. Oh, are we gonna meet them? That's really cool. Okay, despite Director Tan's reluctance to share them, the Nexus retains records of the so-called Nexus Uprising. In the early months of the station's arrival, the damage caused by the Scourge killed members of the senior leadership. New individuals had to step in to fill these roles. However, with hydroponics damaged and no habitable planets available, supplies were stretched to crisis point. Descent turned to open rebellion against this new leadership. With the Nexus threatened, Krogan work crews were asked to provide military support against the rebels, now led by head of security Sloan Kelly, in return for political representation. The Krogan were ultimately successful and the rebels were exiled from the Nexus. These exiles remain a concern for the Nexus leadership to this day. Which is, I'm sure, what did they call themselves? We just talked to them at the beginning. Um, they were had their own free group. Kind of like the Anarchs to the Camarilla. Um... The majority of Krogan personnel also left the Nexus soon afterwards. Director Tan has declined to provide details or filling gaps in the official record. Well, that's because you fucked them over. Because everybody just wants to use Krogans and then be done with them. Like, they're not people. They're just tools, and it's shite. Jen Garson. Okay. I think we've read this? Haven't we read this? So if we go back, known associates. I'm 
I'm trying to find out where we might have come across it. Because we definitely read all our crew stuff. Maybe not. Or maybe we have and this is just an addition. Hmm. I'm not going to bother because we all know who she is. All right. The launch. Intergalactic travel was a topic of extranet discussion in the Milky Way for centuries. Several Asari or Solarian-led expeditions were proposed over the years, but petered out due to lack of interest, insufficient funds, or engineering hurdles. The Andromeda Initiative's use of AI, like myself, because Sam's the one talking, allowed many of the technical problems to be solved, but invited disapproval from the Tyrian hierarchy and the Systems Alliance. Building a fleet of dreadnought-sized arcs with private funding required delicate negotiations with the Citadel Council, and the advanced technology essential to survival in Andromeda was often acquired by a... unorthodox means. Official initiative records show the Nexus departed first in... 2185, escorted by a small squadron of fighters for protection, and then followed by the four arcs that comprised the initial launch wave. Additional vessels were in development, including a quarian-led ship accommodating multiple species. But construction was slow due to their diverse requirements, and the second launch wave was delayed. Initiative observers remain optimistic. Wow! Ooh. Okay, so does that mean that we could very well have a quarian L core, yeah. Hold on, let me let me check. Corian Lightship calling multiple species. So Hanar, Drell, L core, Volus, and then of course Corians. Like they could just be on another vessel, and we might see them in a few years. That could be so cool. Okay, militia and Apex. Though encountering hostile species was a possible scenario. Political, philosophical, and resource restraints in the Milky Way mean the Andromeda Initiative does not have a standing army. Sorry, I'm apparently super nappy. Um, and only minimal military hardware. Defense was planned to revolve around technological superiority. The cat, however, represented a greater threat than anyone projected. The Nexus Militia was formed by Tyrin Kandros, related to... Oh no, Nyrene, Nyrene. After he was captured by the Ket and led other prisoners in an escape. The briefs show that upon their return to the Nexus, Kandros and his team provided the first early warnings about the Ket, and despite counter arguments, founded an armed volunteer militia. Today, enrollment lists show over 300 active members with 150 with reserves, from a variety of combat backgrounds. Kandros describes Apex as the militia's long reach, selected for exemplary combat skills and experience. Apex forces are small, but elite teams that handle special operations. Most Apex members have rescinded their colonist status to focus on defense. Interesting. Oh, the novel Mass Effect Annihilation tells the story of the creator arc? Is that from a... Is it the Andromeda stuff? The Andromeda books? Which I'm not going to read until I'm done with the, with the game, but that's very cool. All right. Should we do more? Pathfinder HQ. Oh man, this is a lot. <laughs> so this is just the initiative and we've got so much other stuff. We'll have to do like a little bit every day. Otherwise we're going to just let it build and build and build and build and build and that's gonna suck. Well, we, we do know that we need a level so let's go ahead and do that while we're here. How many biotics do I have versus, uh... So I have... 87 points. And tech... 47. So... We did overload entirely. Offensive tech, auxiliary systems... Oh, the novels Nexus Uprising and Initiation are prequels? Interesting. And then the Andromeda comics. Ooh. That sounds really cool. Okay. We've got 17. 
because I've got so many points here, I'm gonna do these first. Let's do, so we can either elemental defense buff enemies suffering ongoing effects of the user's tech powers take increased damage from heat, cold, and electricity. Mm. Or weapon damage bonus and increased gun damage. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna get better use out of that. Okay, so we've got 11 points left. Auxiliary systems. We have duration of user's tech power. Oh, oh, okay. So it lasts for longer or has an area of effect. Ooh. But I guess does what we use affect an area? Let's look. Okay, so it chains to an addition. Oh, we got to charge it though. Oh, okay. That counts as an AOE. Kind of. Hmm. I don't know if duration is really going to help because I mostly do the combos and that just explodes them. So let's try to do that one. And then we only have six points left, so this is perfect. So power recharge... Oh, excuse me? Improves all recharge rates for currently recharging powers by 50% when attack power is activated. Or um, begins shield regeneration immediately, eliminating delay when attack power is activated. I'm pretty decent about not dying. I'd like to do more damage, and this facilitates more damage. Okay, that should be all our points. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, Guardian Biotic. The Sentinel profile's not rank four. <gasps> Let's look. Okay, so we've got, so there's a new engineer one and new Sentinel rank four. So Adepts at rank three, engineers at rank three, soldiers locked. <laughs> and we've got, we've got all of them. Look, I love that they kept these the same. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Mix of tech, biotic, we know that. What does this... So, now we have a plus 30 to all combo damage, which is why I'm trying to focus on combos. Um, our tech recharge speed goes up. Yes, good, because that's the slowest ability. Um, shield cost reduction, power restoration, and we've got tech armor. It's always a significant amount of whatever damage gets past shields. Good, because I need it. <laughs> cool, yeah, we want this one. We've already selected it, but that's so cool. So why does it still have, okay, good. The exclamation point's gone away. Oh, but we need to do these. Yeah, we just auto level them up. I just want them to do whatever they're doing. They're adults, they don't need to tell me how they're doing shit. Uh, inventory. I don't want to have to deal with them quite yet. Oh, I need to go to here. We're at 100% viability. We're on EOS, right? Yeah, EOS. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, my inventory is very, very full. It's extremely full. Thanks for watching. For more content, you can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or cosplay on Instagram, or my OnlyFans. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.